Hey everyone, this is John Lee, and today is December 21st, 2021, on a Tuesday. And in this video, we're going to be talking about a couple of new updates to Grease Pencil and Blender 3.1 Alpha, and also some major, major news coming up ahead for Blender 3.2. So first, let's start off with the uh, updates for Grease Pencil in the latest version of 3.1 Alpha. And they are... Let's see. If we scroll down, there were a bunch of updates in Blender's weekly meeting, which occurred yesterday on Monday. And, of course, every week they release information about these updates. And the one that I'm really excited about are the Grease Pencil updates, since I mainly like working in Grease Pencil. And the two new things that they've added are um, a randomized a bunch of randomized parameters to the grease pencil length modifier and a brand spanking new shrink wrap modifier which works much like the shrink wrap modifier for 3D meshes. So let's take a look at what those both look like. Right now I'm in a default scene. I'm just going to del delete the cube and add a, let's see, a grease pencil object. We will choose stroke. Let me just zoom in on this stroke. Like that. And I'm going to increase the width of the parameters on the side here so we can see it a little bit better. I'll click on the Modifier tab. And if we click on the Modifier menu, you'll see a brand new Shrink Wrap modifier. But let's go first to the Length modifier. And what the Length modifier does is it increases the length of the beginning and end of the stroke. So here under the Start parameter, you can increase or decrease the length of the stroke. You can decrease or increase the end of the stroke if you hit on the end parameter. But the thing that's new here are the random offsets. So let's click on that and that'll unfold. Let's see what this looks like. And what this does, it adds a randomized parameter for the end, the beginning and the end of each stroke. So if I crank that up and under the random offset start and random offset end, and then cycle through the seed options, you'll see that it randomly increases the beginning and end of the stroke. You also have this randomized checkbox underneath, and if you click that off, it allows you to um, set choose the number of frames before it recalculates the random values of the uh, stroke. So that's more an animation-related property. So that's about it for the thickness modifier as far as new updates. Now we're going to take a look at the shrink wrap modifier and first I'm going to add a 3D mesh. Shift A under mesh I'm going to choose a sphere and I'll just grab that and move that back along the Y axis slightly behind the grease pencil object like so. I'll make it a little bit bigger by scaling it. Oops. Bring it back a little bit. Okay. So if I choose the grease pencil stroke option, uh, stroke object, and choose the shrink wrap modifier, we have a bunch of options. And under target, we're going to click the eyedropper tool, select the 3D sphere, and right away you can see that the stroke is now wrapped around the sphere. But it looks a little bit funny because right now we have the wrap method set to nearest surface point. Let's change, there's a bunch of different wrap method options, but the one that most people are gonna probably use is target normal project. And that gives us um, the stroke in its original form sort of wrapped around the sphere now. Now right now the shrink wrap modifier looks great when it comes to strokes and that's because there's a bunch of vector points between the beginning and the end of the stroke all along the stroke that allows it to bend along the sphere. But watch what happens when we add a object with a fill. So let me just delete the stroke here. I'm going to add another grease pencil object. I will choose monkey and again if I choose the shrink wrap modifier and choose the 3D mesh as the object that we want to wrap around and choose target normal project. Hmm. Actually, it doesn't look too bad here. Let me choose a sphere that's a little bit more curvy. Go to mesh sphere again and just grab that along the Y axis. 
grab that the Y a little bit closer. And again, I'll apply the shrink wrap modifier here to illustrate my point. Eyedropper tool, click on the sphere. And this is what I was talking about. So like I said, the strokes wrap around nicely along the sphere because they have a bunch of points of articulation, these vector points from the beginning to the end. But the fill, this flesh-colored fill, is essentially one gigantic polygon or grease pencil version of a polygon. It's not broken up into smaller fill polygons. So that's why it's basically one flat fill that isn't able to bend. And I think in order to solve that, we would, I would like to see some kind of subdivide modifier for grease pencil fills so that it breaks it up into smaller fills that allow it to bend in general and also to shrink wrap around objects like this. So that's kind of a limitation with the shrink wrap modifier, but if you're using larger, uh, if, this, if the curves aren't so, so extreme, you can get away with using grease pencil objects with fill. All right, so now for the really, really exciting news, and, whoops, hang on, what did I just do here? Okay, let me just open this up again. There's going to be a complete rewrite of Eevee in Blender 3.2. And that's going to be handled by Clement Foucault. I hope I pronounced your name Clement and that I'm not butchering it. But if I did, I apologize in advance. He is the engineer behind Eevee when it first debuted, I think back in 2.83 or 2.82. I don't exactly remember. But he did all those major improvements to the real-time real -time engine for Blender. And he's going to be back at it again for Blender 3.2. And I'll leave a link in the description, but here are some of the major updates. Um, again, this Blender EV rewrite was originally, I believe, planned for 3.1. But for whatever reason, they had to push it off to 3.2. And here are a list of some of the major features here. Virtual shadow mapping, subsurface scattering. You can check it out all in the description below. But the couple of things that I'm really excited about are the panoramic camera, which is going to allow you to render your scenes in using sort of like a fisheye lens. And if you're using Eevee, or if you're using Grease Pencil, if you're drawing art in Grease Pencil and shooting with a panoramic camera, it'll give your artwork a curvilinear perspective look, which is pretty cool. It's all the rage right now in terms of 2D artists, like Kim Jong-gi, he's like the greatest curvilinear perspective artist that I've seen right now. You can look him up on YouTube and it'll blow you away. You can create artwork similar to that using the panoramic camera. So that's why I'm really excited about that. I believe panoramic camera is in Cycles, but it hasn't been in Eevee up to, uh, up to now. But it will hopefully be in 3.2. But the main, main major update is that finally there will be grease pencil object support, meaning that they're going to be integrating, well, so grease pencil and 3D objects have been running on two separate engines. In other words, grease pencil has been a second class citizen with limited EV support. But in Blender 3.2, grease pencil will be a first class citizen, which means support for real depth of field, motion blur, cache shadows, nodes, shaders, volumetrics like fog, smoke, and fire, um, panoramic cameras, proper interaction with screen space effects like glow and bloom, all these features that Grease Pencil users have been dying for, for since Grease Pencil came out. Those will all uh, begin to be implemented in 3.2 with the rewrite of Eevee which is really exciting. So basically all the things that work with 3D meshes should work in Grease Pencil 2 since they are finally both integrated into the same engine. Um, so that's amazing. I can't wait, but we're going to have to wait. Today is December 21st. Blender releases a new version about every three months. Right now, Blender 3.0 just released earlier this month. Blender 3.1 is still in alpha, meaning in about six months from now, we should see Blender 3.2 and the new EV overhaul and all the major grease pencil updates. So I am super excited. 
Anyway, just had to share. That's it for today's video. Please click like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.